Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Trackman44 here. Hey, you guys might want to stick around for a little while just to see if uh, what I need to happen actually happens or not. To start off with, I've got this little 30 horsepower B3030 Kubota. It's kind of a light little compact tractor, and I've got a 4,000 pound weight. It weighs 4,200 pounds, empty with nothing on it, uh, hooked up behind it. I got uh, 450 pounds or so of ballast on the back of the tractor, and I've got a 2,380 pound log on top of the trailer. So. All that actually is kind of a recipe for a disaster, but no matter, you know, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this log off of this trailer safely and onto that little mill without hurting anyone or tearing up any tractors and equipment or the sawmill. So you know what? Hang in there for a little while and let's see how this happens. Now, I didn't cut these trees down. These were cut down by a, a friend of a, of a cousin of mine. And so they asked me to go ahead and take these. And I didn't know it whenever I picked them up, but the center part, whenever they cut it off, the uh, the hinge pulled way out up inside here, uh, about oh, a good two feet or thereabouts. So what I did, I went ahead and cut, because this is an odd length, I cut a, um, a stove wood length off of the end of this to see how far I, I went, but I still got a hole in there where that... There you can see how that pulled out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and take another little bit off of this. Uh, I really can only get 12 foot of good material out of this anyway. It was 15 foot and 8 inches long, which is an odd length, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and take off enough of it, uh, this end, and there's right where it goes to split, there's some bad in the middle. I'm going to take off enough of it to where I'm going to end up hopefully with a 12, 12 foot log. Well, it's not looking too bad as far as the uh, height of the deck in relation to the height of the trailer. They were working out real well. A little bit of a decline. If you're wondering what I'm doing, uh, my skid loader is still broken down and my little tractor does not have enough uh, capacity to lift and carry this particular log. Uh, it was going to be much longer until I realized I was going to have to cut some of the bad stuff off of both ends, but I did end up with roughly 12 foot and approximately 8 inches in length and roughly 18 inch in diameter so my nice big 23 inch log really got small really really quickly but at any rate right now that thing still is uh, essentially 1,264 pounds in that physical size and unloading by hand going onto that light little mill I didn't want it to uncontrollably roll down the ramps if the ramps happen to turn out to be so steep because of the height differential so I was being very very careful to make sure that it doesn't roll back number one you see me kicking the the triangles back underneath it the wedges underneath it to keep it from rolling backwards and then once I get over here to the edge of the trailer I'm going to do exactly the same thing with those wedges you see on the ramps because I don't want it to roll too quickly down the ramps which it may or may not do at this particular point and if it did I didn't want it to get away from me and slam in against the uh, backstops the log backstops on the little mill and either do some damage knock it out of adjustment or possibly even turn it over I didn't really think that was a possibility but you just never know uh, you just never know whenever you don't have the machinery uh, to do the lifting and carrying for you You know, I don't have to tell you guys that whenever you're working with heavy stuff like this and working by yourself, 
um, you got to keep your mind on what it is you're doing all the time and try to keep thinking of the potential hazards that might be uh, laying right uh, behind your right behind your grasp so you got to always have an exit plan and you got to always be thinking about how to protect yourself because you can get trapped with a rolling log very easily uh, you can get a leg broken pretty quickly you can uh, probably get scorched pretty easily. There's many people die every year uh, being rolled over by logs when they're cutting trees down, things of that nature. Um, so I really do my best to try to anticipate and do everything on the careful side. Um, I know that all goes without saying, but uh, it's just a warning to y'all that are, that are just beginning to work with uh, logs, tree cutting, and things of that nature. Uh, case in point. See right here. I'm actually standing between the log and the trailer. Uh, normally that is uh, an extremely hazardous thing to do, uh, but what you're not seeing is the wedges. Well, they're right there. I just slipped one right up to catch the log in case it uh, wanted to roll backwards. But <clears throat> I'm taking that precaution and I've got two wedges back there, one on each ramp, to make sure that there's no potential of being rolled backwards and squashed up against the trailer. Because, like I said, that can happen so quickly, you can lose your footing, um, and it can happen so quick, you just have no time to respond. Well, I tell you, take it from me, it sure is easier whenever the skid loader's running, and I just pick them off the trailer with the forks and roll over and roll them right off the forks, right onto the, uh, onto the bed frame of the sawmill. Um, definitely a much, much more desirable way of moving the material. Now by the time I got it whittled down to the length that I need, 12 foot 6 inches, to get rid of all the splits on both ends, we're figuring it roughly 18 inch in diameter and uh, close to 13 foot in length, you know, 12 foot 8 or thereabouts. I'm going to saw right now, but I got to see exactly how I need to rotate this to make most out of uh, out of the wood that's in the log. Well, there's your sets ready for the record crew, and you know what? Because everybody uh, talked about putting the extension on it, which was in the works anyway after talking with the missus, I went ahead and put this uh, aluminum flexible. I think that's a bathroom exhaust pin. Uh, you get them about this long, and they telescope out the heat. But I've got it here to where I can still adjust it and change it if necessary. So hopefully that'll keep the dust out of us. I'm definitely thankful it worked out as easy as it did. And you know what? We're done with this one here. Be back in a couple of days to saw it up. And this is Tractor Man 44. And I'm out of here, guys.